All right, Brian, I was going to write this down, but it's a whole lot easier if I uh, just go ahead and, <clears throat> ahead and make a, a video out of it. So uh, obviously this is your lift pump here. You've seen this in the other video. When I am bleeding the engine, I don't, um, I don't crack any of the fittings for the lift pump. As you can see, the filter is currently removed. There's a there's a flex line that goes there and it started leaking so this is just my spare engine but this is the uh, the filter this is where it would be sitting you can also see my bleed screws are out of the filter right now they were leaking um, so this is bad filter housing but uh, in the good filter housing what I've actually done is plugged those those bleed ports there um, I don't use them anymore I plug them with uh, JB weld and then when I'm cracking my fittings I can crack the inlet and make sure good fuel's going in, and then I can crack the outlet and make sure good fuels, good clean fuel's coming out. Uh, once that's done, uh, the outlet fitting actually attaches here. That's the banjo fitting. Follow that up, and that's the last fitting right there at the high pressure injector point, um, at the high, high pressure injector pump that I'll crack. So I'll crack that one off, but I don't use the bleed screw. I use the big, the big fitting. I'm going to pause the video for a minute and then when I get back to it, I will, um, I'll show you the, the seal washers that I have. Okay, so I've got the McMaster car seal washers laid out here. These are the smaller ones. These typically go with the, I believe they're the number eight banjo bolts. I got a couple of them right here. They're, they're the small ones. They're the, um, let me see here. You typically recognize them as these little guys. Um, there's really only two sizes. I think they call them a number eight seal and a number uh, number ten seal. But um, same with these, those little copper washers. Um, the bigger ones, like the one going into the high pressure injector pump, that's going to be this size. Um, this is actually the high pressure injector pump bolt, and I told you I JB welded over it. So I made sure that my passage there was clear, and I made sure that my passage up through there was clear, but that bolt will never allow the bleed screw to come out, because that's what was happening. The bleed screw was stripping, and it was coming out. In fact, the reason I have this one here is because I replaced this with one of these, and it works just fine. Um, now I don't even have a bleed screw there. I'll be right back. So I actually took a minute to take these out. So you got the little guy. Um, that's the McMaster car one. You can kind of get an idea how thick it is. I don't have an example of the Anmar one for the little one, but uh, this is somebody in the past on this engine for one reason or another. Um, I, I don't really understand what they were thinking, what they were doing, but they they put a seal washer in there, which is what gave me the idea. So this is the official uh, Yanmar seal washer, but you won't find it part numbered out for our engines it's for like the JY or the YM or something like that engine I can find out exactly if you need me to um, this is a copper washer that it would replace obviously no seal this is the Yanmar one and then this is the McMaster car style but um, it's not quite as flanged it's a little bit flatter overing type of material uh, I wish I could get it to focus there it goes. So a little bit, little bit different design, but the McMaster car ones are are considerably cheaper, and you can actually double them up. You can put two or three, just like a regular washer. Um, there's another Yanmar one. So you got a good example. Um, I would, I, I think with McMaster car having such a good, um, good service and good, good policies, I'd just go ahead and get. I, you know, I didn't know what I was going to get, so I just went ahead and tried a bunch of them. But I would try uh, try getting on the McMaster car. There's only two that are available. They call them a seal washer. Um, yeah, so it's eight millimeter. That's why I call them number eights and number tens because they're eight millimeter and ten millimeter inside and outside diameter. So this is this is an eight millimeter bolt. Come on, focus. There we go. Eight millimeter bolt, and this is a ten millimeter bolt. Let's get you focused. All right. If you've got any questions, I'll uh, I'll be available via email. I'll talk to you later. Bye.